This video is sponsored by Dell.com. Visit Dell.com slash gaming for your gaming and technology needs. I am not using a Dell device for this gameplay video. Welcome to Ukulele, the crowdfunded successor to the classic and fantastic Banjo-Kazooie series from N64. This game is a take on the classic collectathon type games that were so popular back in the day. These games, of course, involving collecting tons of different things in order to progress through the game. Now we get dropped off into this beautiful and gorgeous world with our dim-witted lizard friend Yuka and our sassy bat friend Laylee. Now, despite the obvious reference to music in the title ukulele, stemming from the music from Banjo-Kazooie, who had to run around and collect music notes, this game has nothing to do with music. In fact, the plotline consists around a book, or as we were using it as, a drink coaster. That's right, they are drawing us into the story by the loss, the terrible loss, of our drink coaster. The evil genius Capital B and his sidekick Quack have constructed an evil machine to suck up every single book in the world. For one reason only, your book. The only thing that they wanted was your book, yet they decided to build a machine to get every single book in the world. I, it doesn't make any, it just, what, just go with it for now, okay? I know, I know. I know, just go with it for now, okay? So it wasn't until this book was floating away that we realized we actually want it back. And oh my gosh, the pages are golden, even though it was sitting right next to us open! Look, I'm trying to keep it together, okay? I'm trying. I gotta say, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The environments are rich. The shaders are wonderful. Are you guys getting dizzy yet? How about now? So the only thing I can do right now is jump. And, uh, that. So, our, our, our magical book that we had just found, uh, floated away. And, uh, all of a sudden it was like, and it's golden as it was flying away, but it was sitting next to us open the entire time. And then now our quest is to go find that book. Solid, sto solid storyline, man. Why can't I open up the chests? I have no idea what I'm doing, or where I'm going. Why can't- why is there not an action button? Hello? How are you feeling today? I mean- Why can't I open up the fucking chests, man? Here we go, who's this guy? Speak to me. I'm a snack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha, ah, his pants. It's me, Trouser, the honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, friend. Did you happen to see a magical fly book go through here? Yeah, for five quills I did. They're in demand now. This book business has kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests lying around. I already tried lockpicking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. To unlock them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. Okay, here we go. Thank God. Using X, our green friend here can perform the tail swirl attack. Well, okay, unlocking every single attack is a little annoying, but, uh, you know, well, I'm down. I'm down with it. No, we're, we're good. Now, I understand that these collectathons are notorious for having to learn new moves in order to progress, but holy crap, we are idiots. You start off the game not knowing shit, and that's why I said that we were dim-witted. Oh my gosh, butterfly garden? Hmm, I'm tasty butterfly energy. Nice. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. Be nice. I'm literally eating you. Be nice and eat me, daddy. We'll need to use A to jump. First enemies, bring it on, bitch. <laughs> oh, get toss. Do they even attack? These little goblin guys make up 90% of every single enemy you will actually encounter in this game. Even across the five different levels, they are literally the same goblins with a different outfit on. And their main attack is standing there and waving their arms at you. Is this really the best you got, ukulele? 
Hello, we're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now, as will most of the world's supply before long. Mwahaha. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? Actually, it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now scram before I call security. So sucking up every single book in the entire world to find one book. Something not right about this place lately. We should investigate. We should go kick some ass. More murder, please. Oh, we're just, we're just uh, some innocent creatures uh, looking for a book. How are we gonna do that? Murder. Murder. Te we're, teaching the ki we're teaching the kids the importance of books and reading, right? If anyone gets in your way of your book reading, fucking kill them. Slice their head off. One thing I will say about this game right now is that it will insult your intelligence unless you are four years old. There are many times in the game where it will literally take you through the entire course of where you need to go, show you every single little thing about it, and then let you go do it. Instead of allowing you to figure things out for yourself, which is my favorite thing, that sense of accomplishment I get from actually solving a puzzle or finding the right way to get there. Spotted a piece of your book. Oh, don't spoil everything. Oh, there it is. Are they taking me through the entire course right now? That's interesting. Kind of telling me how to go about doing it. Could have, you know, figured that one out, I guess, myself. Didn't seem that difficult. Platform doesn't like me. Hello, Mr. Page. Did you know you could roll me up and start crack with me? Hello there. Who might you be? I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful one book. How did I have the all-powerful one book next to me that was golden and I didn't realize it until it was flying away from me? The one book? How much is one of those worth? The one book is incredibly powerful and it's been stolen by the evil capital B. Capital B, not Professor B. If capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Oh my god. You're telling me that the uh, universe power was written on a book with stupid frilly butterflies and flowers if you use me to unlock one of the grand tubs in this factory we can transport to another world and search for more of my friends why would they be in another world literally i saw them all fall out between where i started and this factory three feet away <laughs> struggling <laughs> struggling a little bit with the, with the storyline here hey pals why don't you come for more details all right long story short missing book looking for pages the book sucky machine is the hub world and there are five extra worlds out there that are in something called tomes or other books. The more pages we unlock, the more books we can get into. Now, each of these five worlds that you can get to by jumping into the books are only a certain size, but if you get enough pages, you can come back and actually expand the book. Now, once again, it doesn't really make sense with the storyline that I'm collecting pages to put into a book that's not actually the book where I need the pages from because you are actually using up your pages. It's not a running total, it's how many pages you can spend to expand books. But I need those pages to make the ultimate book. I, you got, just the story, I don't know, okay? I don't know anymore. This is how tough this game is. Sorry, I've got no business with you, lizard. Well, that's racist. You look like a racy pair. Hello, this is Laylee, and I'm Yuka. Who might you be? I'm Nibble, and I like the look of you two, I must say. How about we see who's most racy, you know, and a race around my course? Yeah, sure. Do to pay for this? Cloud-based racing, how next gen? <laughs> The hell is this pig? Who are you? I bet you've got a weight related name. Om nom nom. They call one sir scoffs a lot. Proud knight of Hamelot. Alright, the next move. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Real boss slammer. For just 30 quills, a bargain. I thought we had a deal. We unlock worlds and you give us freebies. My first moves apply only in Ivory Towers, I'm afraid. In the Tome worlds, 
It's business as usual. Oh my god, we gotta like buy them. Buddy slam, slurp shot, or sonar shot. Oh my god, you are lovely. Looks like you're experiencing some technical or technical difficulties. <laughs> so in summary, let's go over the game. Now, one of the things that I like the most about this game was that it was beautiful, it was big, and it was open. And I was so excited to have a Banjo-Kazooie-like game again. I haven't played a good collect-a-thon in a long time. But along with these big open worlds, everything was just so spaced out. And there were no checkpoints, there were no save spots, backtracking was absolute killer not to mention every single time that you died you were teleported all the way back from the last door you exited which is usually on the other side of the map it's, it's pretty spicy i'm not sure what i'm supposed to do when i'm up there oh nice you know what go ahead and fling me off please please do that Even though this game is very, very large, it lacks variety big time. There are lots of NPCs, but every single one of the only five worlds has a duplicate of every single one of the NPCs, who brings you through the exact same game that you played in the last world. For example, Kartos. He has a minecart ride that you ride in level one, and then in level two, there's a minecart ride, and then in level three, there's a minecart ride. Not exactly sure what the developers were thinking, but it seemed like they thought by making massive worlds that are drawn out and boring, but beautiful looking, would somehow make up for the lack of variety. But it doesn't. Not for me. Now, I was hoping that the Banjo-Kazooie game was going to grow up with us. And it was going to be marketed to us 20 to 30-something year olds who wanted to experience that again. But honestly, it feels more like a children's game to me. It wasn't made for us who remember Banjo. It was made for our younger generation. I was going to do a Let's Play series on this, but in the end decided to scrap it for this review because I just, I couldn't do it. I literally got to the point where I said, I need to stop playing this. So, honestly huge letdown here. This game was far too easy and far too boring for me to want to play through it. The one thing that I will say before we end this is that it is very relaxing. If you're looking for an, a very easy, large, beautiful collect-a-thon type game to play, something to play to wind down before you go to bed, this game fits that bill, very much so, but it does come at a $40 price tag on Steam. I don't think it's a horrible game. I just personally didn't like it myself. It was a very big letdown. So that's my thoughts on ukulele. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you guys.